my presentation is uh, actually when I put this together, it didn't. Re I didn't realise quite how relevant this is uh, to the subject matter of the day, and in particular to what Eddie was saying. So I can actually follow Eddie's presentation quite nicely with some of the ideas that I'm going to put across to you. Back in November last year, I was given an opportunity by the school to change the furniture in my classroom. And I took that on because I had those very old clunky brown desks that were big, heavy, difficult to move around. And actually, if I reconfigured the classroom with those desks, I couldn't get the chairs around them. So I was uh, teaching to a very traditional rows of desks uh, in the classroom. Uh, I very quickly discovered some things that I'm going to share with you. Uh, in particular, I've now got more opportunities to run the sorts of group tasks that uh, Eddie's been talking about, but also other types of tasks. But I can now make those more powerful, I believe, because of the reconfiguration of the classroom. So the activity that I'm talking about today in particular uh, is an idea that uh, a colleague of mine gave me. Uh, she's fairly new out of university and she's come across a program called Tarsia. So I'm going to talk about both things. Uh, so the Tarsia software, which is free, you may find your IT department have to come and install it for you because they may have privileges that they need. But once you've got it installed, it's a very simple and easy to use application that lets you produce, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use the um, thing over time. I hope you can see, can, it, can everyone see roughly it's sort of a hexagonal shape made up of triangles and a bit like dominoes, if you like, uh, along the edges you have matching statements. It could be a fraction that matches a, uh, a decimal. It could be, in this case, uh, fractions, decimals, uh, and percentages. I have another shape here, a triangle, made up of triangles, uh, which has uh, actually some uh, incorrect ones as well. We'll get to that. So um, it uses the equation editor. Uh, what you do is you go into the software, you choose the shape you want, you uh, do the input using equation editor, which uh, I think the majority of you would be familiar with, and you create the matching pairs. You can look at what the solution will be, and you can do that as you go along. You can look at what the output will be, so that actually it comes out oops, sorry. It comes out quite a lot bigger so that you, when you cut it out and presume, uh, laminate it or whatever you're going to do uh, before you cut it out probably, uh, you get it like this. Uh, you might want the students to do that for you. So there's the uh, hexagonal version, triangular version, lots and lots of scope. Now let's talk about the desk configurations and why this is uh, actually more exciting to me really than Tarsia itself. Tarsia is just the opportunity. The desk configurations, uh, when I started this in, back in November, I thought the problem's going to be how long it takes the students to actually reconfigure them. It takes less than two minutes for them to change the classroom from a teacher-centered version to a student-centered version. So here is my traditional, well, actually, uh, not quite, but I asked the students what they prefer, and they said, we'd like to sit along the sides or facing the front, but we'd like that choice. So this uh, layout works quite well. That's from the front looking back. Um, that's just, that's for teacher-centered. So the students, if I ask them even to work in pairs in this configuration, they still stick their hand up and ask me because their focus is to the front of the room. If I put them into the group work configuration, Remember, less than two minutes to do it. I literally can stand at the front of the classroom and think, oh, actually now I've explained that, I might just get them to reconfigure. And so I say, in silence, reconfigure the classroom for group work. And suddenly, I'm walking around the room eavesdropping on conversations, and they're asking each other the questions. And you might think, wow, that's so obvious, really. Did you need to come up and tell us that? It wasn't obvious to me until I actually saw it happening. Um, 
And so I actually do this more often than I used to, even if they're just working in pairs, because it takes the focus off me and puts it on each other. Uh, I've also, uh, I have a very small year 11 class at the moment. Uh, I'm able to work uh, around a table, and that basically doesn't put the focus on either the students or the teacher. It just makes it more intimate, and you're more kind of in the, the zone. You kind of have to participate in that environment. So, uh, as I said, less than two minutes. Takes the focus off the teacher if you're in a group work scenario. It's very easy to eavesdrop. They don't even notice I'm there. Um, but I listen in on the conversations. The other thing I wanted to show you was the use of mini whiteboards. Um, I have a set of these in my classroom. This is about making their thinking more visible. If they're writing on pieces of paper, they tend to write quite small and it's quite difficult to look over them and have a look at what they're doing. When they're doing it on the mini whiteboards, they write bigger. It's a phenomenon. I suppose it's the pens. Uh, but it means that they can see what each other is doing and I can see it. Uh, from a distance. It also means that uh, in this type of configuration I can give them feedback individually, as a pair, as a group, uh, with less sort of focus on how that process is going. Um, so there they are working on the Tarsia puzzle that I'd set them. Uh, the other thing that was interesting about this I felt was that I gave them a puzzle that was uh, expanding to get the um, uh, the trinomial and because they hadn't sort of understood and I hadn't given them any instructions about what they were going to be doing some of them started by trying to factorise we hadn't done factorising yet but they actually had some success with that okay, I'm done